Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at Straddle, part of the option strategies that we've been working on. This topic is covered on a CPA exam BEC section as well as the CFA exam. Also, you will see this topic in an essentials or principles of investments. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,000. 800 plus accounting auditing tax finance as well as excel tutorials if you like my lectures please like them and share them if they benefit you it means they might benefit other people connect with me on instagram on my website farhatlectures.com you will find additional resources to complement and supplement this course as well as your other accounting and finance courses so let's talk about the straddle which is a part of the up, uh, option strategy. What is a straddle? A straddle is basically, and we're going to talk. We're going to talk about a long straddle. Then at the end, we'll talk about a short straddle. Okay, so we're going to be buying a straddle. We're going to be going long. What we do is we buy a call option. And what is the call option? Hopefully, you know what a call option is. The right to buy a stock at a certain price for a period of time. So you are bullish because you want to buy the stock. You pay a premium and you want to buy the stock. And you're going to buy a put option. Hold on a second. Put option means I am bearish. So here, I think the stock's going to go up. Here, the stock is going to go down for the same strike price and for the same expiration date. Hold on a second. It's like I'm being pulled forward and backward at the same time. That's exactly what a straddle is. You're buying a buy option, a buy call. You're buying a call option, and you're buying a put option, obviously, for the same stock, for the same strike price. We're going to see it's at the money. It's exactly what the price is now and for the same expiration date. Now, why are you doing so? Well, here's what's happening here. You're, expect, you're expecting volatility. You don't know what, what direction the volatility is going to be, but you think the stock price will be more volatile than when the market is thinking. What could be an actual example of this? If, if you're thinking about a pharmaceutical company that's coming with a new product, well, guess what? If the FDA approves the product and talking about the coronavirus now, you know, let's let's assume a company is uh, is, is is presenting a, a, a therapeutic for the coronavirus. If that thing if that thing worked, the stock price will go up very high. And if everybody was thinking it's going to pass and it did not pass, if the if the FDA shut it down, the stock price will go down as well. So here you are, you are, look, you are, you are, you are buying volatility. You are betting on volatility. That's the purpose of this. So this strategy would limit your downsides, and we're gonna we're gonna see how, and you'll have unlimited upside. So your downside kind of you're protected with the, with the call option, and you have an unlimited upside because you have a put option. Now let's take a look at an actual example to see how this all fits together on a diagram. This way we can see exactly how it works. Let's assume we buy a call option and we paid $5. And for the same stock and the same expiration, we bought a put option and we paid $7 per contract. So let's let's see how things would look like. Let's make it here. Let's throw it here. So this is the profit and line, a profit and loss line. This is the stock price. This is profit in line. Let's assume we're dealing with a stock at $130. This is the at the money price. So this is the strike price, $130. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Uh, uh, when we paid $5 for the call, so we have to pay $5. So da, 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 we'll get to the strike price and we'll start to make money after $130. So it will break even. If it's by itself, it will break even at $135. This this call option by itself. Now we also bought a put option and we paid $7. So anything above 130, we don't make any money. Then we'll get to the 130. The stock price will start to drop. We'll start to make money and we'll break even at uh, 123. Okay. This is, this is the this is the uh, this is the put by itself. Let me do the put by itself in a separate color. So this is, so I can do that. This is the put by itself, the put by itself. Now here's what's gonna happen. You have both a put and a call option. So here's what's gonna happen first. If the stock price remained within this bound range, let's assume it remain at 130. If the stock price don't really move, guess what? You spend all this money for nothing. Therefore, you would lose, you would lose $12. So you would lose, if, if the stock price stayed at 130 you would lose 
twelve dollars because nothing really happened if it moves up and down throughout the period and you don't do anything it's basically you you don't you don't really make anything and if it moves up a dollar here you make a dollar here you would lose a dollar on the put so really you want it to go outside the range what range do you want it to go outside actually your actual break even point is not these points this is the break even point this is the break even point let me put them in the black if you have the option and the call by themselves but now you have both of them therefore your break even it's going to be the strike price it's going to be the strike price plus so it's going to be 130 plus 12 plus all the premium so on the up upper side you're going to have to get to 142 okay 142 and on the lower end it's going to be 130 minus 12 130 minus 12 this is where you break even it's going to be 118 it's going to be let's let's say it's right here 118 there we go now here's what's going to happen this is your actual break even so here's what you want okay here's what you're really looking looking at the break even point for this strategy first of all this this line this blue line is your straddle this is has a slope of plus one and this is a slope of basically minus one and here's what's going to happen if the stock goes above 142 the more it goes the more profit you make therefore your profit is unlimited but it has to go outside the 142 the price will have to exceed 142 because because it's 130 you can buy it at 130 but it costs you 12 dollars that position costs you 12 dollars therefore 130 plus 12 is 142 so you want the price on the upside to go as farther as possible from 142 and in theory it can go forever on the downside what you want is you want it you want it, you want it to go below 118 if it goes below 118 you can put it you can sell it to someone at 118 and it's below 118 so you can buy it at for example if it goes down to 70 you can buy it at 70 and put it to someone you'll force someone to buy it from you uh to buy it from you for 130 but your break even point is 118 and you will make the difference as a profit um so this is how you basically what you did is you limited your downside and you have an unlimited upside so if the price went down you'll make some money okay but if the price goes up you have unlimited upside you have unlimited upside so let's assume in the worst case situation the price goes down to zero the price goes down to zero um first of all what's your max gain let's let's look at max max gain your max gain could be unlimited because it could virtually go forever your max loss what's your max loss your max loss is the premium it doesn't go anywhere is 12 your max gain is unlimited unlimited it can go forever and if the price goes down to zero let's think about if the price of the if the if this stock goes down to zero you have the right to sell it you have the right to sell it at 130 you have the right to sell it at 130 but you already it cost you it cost you twelve dollars to get to come up with that right because you have to account for the call and the put therefore in case it went down to zero you will make 118 dollars now bear in mind this is a long stra straddle this is a long we bought now you could also do the opposite you can rather than buy you can sell a call option and you can sell a put option simply put what's going to happen when you sell a straddle you are not betting on volatility you are betting and no at no volatility so what you do here it's from a graph it looks exactly the opposite it would look something like this and what you do with with a short straddle with a short straddle when you're selling it it means you want you want it to go to stay here so simply put you don't want the buy the buyer to take advantage of this of the option if you don't want it to, if you don't, you don't want them to take advantage you're just hoping the price does not does not it stay within the, this bound so the individual don't don't exercise and you want it to be specifically at 130 at 130 you're like this is the best because you have the maximum profit you you got your premium and they did not exercise any option so this is basically the straddle strategy in the next session we would look at spreads basically in the next session we would look at spreads as always i'm going to remind you if you, if you like this recording to like it and share it uh don't forget to visit my website, farhatlectures.com, especially if you're studying for your CPA exam. Study hard, stay safe, 